What's going on guys? Welcome back to Nick 4K. Today I'm going over my week's uh, 4K haul that I, I collected over the last couple days here. Um, every week I'm going to start doing this or maybe every other week depending on how much I collect and uh, just going over them. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn notifications for more. And of course, if you'd like to pick up any of these titles for yourself, there'll be a link to that in the description below. If you use those links, it helps out my channel and it's no extra cost to you, so I'd appreciate that. Now with that said, guys, let's just jump right in. All right, jumping into our first one here, we have the Steelbook for Space Jam 2 or Space Jam A New Legacy. Now, I did watch this one on 4K already because I actually had the standard version of this, but when the Steelbook popped up for me, I had to pick it up. Um, very cool looking steelbook. Um, could maybe be a little more exciting, but I think for what they were going for, you know, if you open it up, it becomes like a basketball court, which is actually pretty dope. I appreciate that. Um, regardless if you like the movie or not, I thought it was all right. Not nearly as good as the first one, but that's usually how movies work. Um, it is a really good transfer at least. There's a lot of animation in this super solid 4k transfer. Um, overall, yeah, it's pretty good. The Space Jam 4K, and then the Space Jam Blu-ray, which is a nice purple. I like that. Looks nice. So there you go. There's the first one of my haul. Let's move on to the next one. Next one, probably one of the ones I was most looking forward to getting eventually in the future, is the Wizard of Oz Steelbook. Now, I've been wanting this Steelbook for a long time, but I just wasn't able to find a good deal on it. And I finally was able to pick it up for a relatively cheap price. I already have the 4K on standard, but I'm going to sell that and uh, make some more money back on that, which makes this even cheaper from a certain point of view. There you go. You see there's the witch inside the steelbook, 4K, and the Blu-ray. Got the scarecrow up there. I really like this. The 4K transfer on this, I think it's... If you are someone who collects a lot of 4Ks, you obviously already have this 4K. You've probably already watched it. This is one of the... Um, I wouldn't say oldest movies, but one of the movies that I remember being considered like a big classic for my day and age. And I, it was even a classic before me and my, my parents had it, had it as a classic, you know, but um, I would say if you are a 4K collector and you're looking for, you know, collecting movies that, that deserve to be collected, the 4K transfer of this is absolutely amazing. It is the best way to watch this movie. There are a lot of movies out there that have 4K digital transfers and 4K physical transfers. And they're both good. The digital is great, but it's that physical 4K with the extra HDR on that. It can't be beat in my opinion. So ultimately, this is one of those movies, you don't wanna pick the Steelbook, at least pick up the standard 4K of this, you need it. It's so good. Not much more to say about that. We can all agree that's a classic and uh, definitely need to be added to your collection if you do not have it. Next one, we have Shazam 4K. So. This Shazam Steelbook is pretty cool. I like it. Um, could be a little more to it in my opinion, but for what it is, you know, it's pretty solid. What does bother me is for some reason, it's the only Steelbook that I've seen that has put the, sh like, the logo so high up. Like, what, why is it so high up here? Look, here, I'll, I'll make a comparison. Look, there's the next one about the review, 47 Ronin. 47 Ronin is exactly where it's supposed to be, right in the center. And Shazam's so far up there. I don't know what they were deciding to do, I have no idea. I actually have Shazam 2 on a steelbook and that doesn't do that either. So I don't know why they decided that it kind of throws off the rest of your collection in a way when you look at it all on your shelf. Not a massive deal, but for me and my OCD, that's going to bother me. All right. Here's the back. Pretty nice shot. Zachary Levi. I think he did a great job as, as uh, Shazam and it's going to be a shame to see him go. But I mean, for the most part, he served his purpose for the DCEU. All right. There he is playing on the controller. There's the 4K and the Blu-ray. So yeah, pretty cool steelbook. Maybe could have won a little bit more into it, but for the most part, it's solid. So I'm, I'm happy. I have the standard version of that. I'm gonna sell that as well, which makes the value of that one better in my opinion. All right, next one, 47 Ronin. So this is actually a really cool steelbook. This is one of those steelbooks, and this might just be my opinion. This is one of those steelbooks just like um, Venom, uh, Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage Steelbook, where like the Steelbook is just so much more better than the actual movie. I don't hate this movie. I think it's fine. The 4K transfer of this is actually pretty nice. It looks, it looks good, but the movie itself is just kind of all right. There's the back of it. Looks pretty cool. I mean, we saw the side before. I'll show you the side again. Yeah, it looks nice. 
So yeah, like I said, Transfer is dope, but the movie is, you know, not as bad as the Carnage movie, but it's still like, it's just all right. You know, it's, it's an okay movie. I wouldn't recommend this if you were like a 4K collector and you were looking for the movies that you need to own on 4K, which is a video I'll be doing soon. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments below. But um, yeah, it's still a cool steelbook and it is a good addition to my collection. Next one, The Marvels. Now I'm going to be also doing a video soon with a tier list of this. I have some old ones on my channel, but it's time for an update for sure. I think the last one I did was like, man, I don't even know, like before Thor, Thor 4, I don't even remember. I'll have to check them out, whatever the case. New one's coming out soon, so you want to see that video, make sure to like and subscribe for that. But I'll be honest, this, this slipcover looks dope. I dig this slipcover. It's nice and shiny. It's inviting, you know? It doesn't try to be too much. And it uh, sells, it sells what, it's, what it's selling here, it's the Marvels. Pull this off. Pretty nice case. As far as the movie goes, uh, I'll review this movie. I think that this movie got a lot more hate than it deserved. It wasn't good, but it definitely wasn't nearly as bad as people like to pretend it is. So that's my two cents. Um, I'll go further into that with my tier list video coming out in a few days here. All right, now this was another steelbook I was looking for for a while. The 4K steelbook of Psycho. I think this looks great. This honestly is a great looking steelbook. Um, Got the back with the mansion, yes. I don't know why this is here. I wish this logo wasn't there. Uh, maybe some black paint would cover that over, make it look a little better. There's the side of the steelbook. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Yep, I'm a fan, a fan of that steel. And we got the 4K and the Blu-ray. Yep, like it. Next one, Babylon 5. Now this is a movie I have not seen but I managed to get a really good price on it, so I figured I'd pick it up. And of course, I got a digital code with it. I sold the digital code and I was able to make some money back, which is pretty nice. There's the back of it. By the way, if you want to read any of the stuff on the back of these uh, uh, movies, just feel free to pause the video and you can. There is Babylon 5, the side of it. Looks pretty nice. Um, I will check this out. Apparently this is a TV show and this was a movie. Um, Along the TV show, I, I, I'm going to guess it's something like Star Trek. Um, I will check it out eventually, just haven't yet. All right, the next one we have The Fugitive. Now this transfer I have not seen yet. Um, I have not actually seen this movie for about a decade. I'm actually pretty excited to check this one out. But um, from what I've heard, the transfer of this is really good. There's The Fugitive on the side there. Transfer is really good. Um, I'll let you guys know. I potentially might do a review on this in the future. Same thing as the slipcover. Yep, like I said, if you want to read any of the back stuff, make sure to pause the video when I share that. And there's the fugitive. Oh, there I am. Hi. Next, we have The Nun 2. Now, this is another movie I have not seen yet. I actually have The Nun 1 on 4K. I think I got that for like 10 bucks um, from the 4K deals group. That uh, is from Facebook. If you guys want to join that, it is in the link in the description below. Definitely recommend it. Have some really good deals over there, so definitely check it out. Um, yeah, I'd say that I've heard good things about these movies. I just don't really I don't love them, but I got this for a good deal, so, you know. I already have the first one. Might as well grab the second one. There I am again. Hello. Pretty cool. Cool slip. I like this slip. You know, I don't know what the movie is, but that looks pretty creepy. So, I'm going to guess that it's, it's probably a creepy movie. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll check it out. Who knows? For right now, I have a massive list of other movies I have to check out first. I will eventually get to those movies, though. And now, for the big three. Of course, I'm talking about True Lies, Aliens, and of course, The Abyss. Now, as you may know, these three movies are kind of hard to find. True Lies is a lot easier to find than Aliens. Aliens is kind of hard to find, but still way more easier to find than The Abyss. And uh, we're going to save this one for last, but... We'll go over True Lies first. What I will say is these 4K transfers really look good. I know that, that there's a lot of hate on True Lies, a lot of DNR, and I, I understand the arguments, and, and that's fair. Like, I understand where people are coming from with them, but for the most part, I mean, we haven't seen a transfer of this since DVD. And this is way better than the DVD, in my opinion. So, from where I'm standing, this is the best transfer could it have been better sure but i mean for what it is 
I think it's great. Like, I think it's still really, really good. It might get a little too much hate, in my opinion. I think it's because Aliens and The Abyss look really good, and True Lies just looks, like, fine. Um, still better than the DVD, though. So, in my opinion, this is the ultimate way to watch True Lies right now. Maybe one day they'll do an updated version, but for right now, best way for sure. Like I said, if you want to pick up any of these movies, links in the description below. Helps out the channel. I appreciate it. Now we're moving into Aliens. Now, this is a 4K transfer that I think looks great. I know that there are some negatives that people say. It's fair. All the arguments against these movies are fair, but I think for the most part, I actually think this movie looks the best. I know people have said The Abyss looks the best. I think this looks the best, mostly because of the science fiction stuff that goes in this movie look really good. Like the miniatures they did. Um, yeah, I just think it looks great. There's the side of aliens. I like the shine they added to this. You know, it's very, um, it gives like a metallic feel, or I should say like a science fiction metallic feel. I dig it. And there it is. There's the case, same thing as the slipcover. Just, you know, plastic case, not as fun. And there's the Blu-ray. Here's the 4K, and there's actually a second disc here. Movie, two versions, hold on. So there's two versions on there, and then there is a Blu-ray bonus feature. Okay, so, oh, I see, I see. Okay, so they have a 4K disc, then there's the Blu-ray movie, and then there is the Blu-ray extra features in the back. Cool. And last, but certainly not least, we have The Abyss. Now, like I stated, I do think that this is not as good as a transfer as Aliens, but it's still amazing. And like I said, just like True Lies, you can't get this on even Blu-ray. So as far as things go, this is the best transfer. So regardless of if people are mad about it or, you know, don't like certain things about it, it is the best way to watch these movies currently, just like True Lies. There's the cover. There's the side. There's the back again. Let me open it up. And we have the Blu-ray. Now this also looks like to be the same way. Here's the Blu-ray um, movie. There's the 4K movie. And then on the back is the bonus features right there behind the 4K. So there you go, guys. That is this week's haul. If you enjoyed this video, you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. If there's any 4Ks that you'd like to see me review in the future, definitely let me know in the comments. And of course, if you guys want to check out any of these deals for yourselves, like I said, links in the description below and uh, goes to helping out this channel. So I appreciate it. Thanks for watching again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.